What's up, fellas? Your boy Dark Hell coming to you from the rig, man. I'm over here in Waynesville, North Carolina, man, puffing on Leaf by Oscar Cigar, man, Connecticut. Just enjoying the cigar. I'm waiting to get loaded. This place, it's Evergreen Paper Place, man. There's a TQL low, man. That broker was stressing on the Raycon. Do not show up early. Do not show up prior to 30 minutes from your appointment. My appointment is at 2200, you know, 10 p.m. And I showed up here, you know, it's 930 and there's a line of trucks, man. So I'm about to go up there and go check in, see what's up, man. But ah, just relaxing right now. Puffing on my cigar. It's real dark where I'm at. I'm like at a little four-way stop. So there's a line. Dark. Puffing my cigar. Got my truck protector with me because you never know. A motherfucker tries to run up on me. He's going to find out what time it is. But, um. Just chilling right here, man, you know. Puffing a little cigar. <clears throat> I'm gonna get this loaded head home. Then I gotta take my fuel filters out, man. I, I really don't wanna do the oil change for like another two weeks. But the fuel filters, I'm gonna go ahead and pick those up and change them on myself because I can feel my truck. Mostly when I'm, I feel the stutter sometimes, like, broop, broop, and I already know this is Detroit. When they start doing that, it means trying to change the fuel filters. So, this Detroit 60 12.7 has two fuel filters. And um, go pick those up. Get that swapped out when I get home. I hate these late pickups. But thank God I ended up booking this late pickup load because, man, my load earlier was a, just a big old mess, man. But uh, that's what it is, man. Your boy Dark Hell is watching the bull gear. And they, um, you know, we're going to talk about bull gears, man. I, I you know. I think I always had issues with the bull gun in this truck, and when they did an over, overhead adjustment and they changed that fuel injector in my truck, it got better. But every once in a while, I hear it, like when I'm idling, only when I'm idling, I hear a little blah, 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 blah. If you guys follow my videos, you've heard me say that in the past. It's not that bad, and it's not all the time. It's only when I idle, but like right now, if I hit my cruise control up and I, it stops. But right now, it's not doing that anyway. Like I said, it only does it sometimes, but. Just something to watch. So I've been watching a lot of videos on bull gears and them things, you know what I'm saying? The bull gear is like the timing. It has to do with the timing of the truck. It's this big old gear and it has like a little notch in the bottom, like a little arrow pointing down and the, the there's a gear underneath. I don't know if it's the crank gear, the idler gear, and that also has a notch and you got to line those two notches up. That's how you know if your truck jump, jumps timing or not. If, the, if that's not a line, you know it's jumping timing. And the bull gears, what happens is that they... What goes really, what really goes bad on the bull gears most of the time is a bearing kit. That bearing kit is only like ninety bucks, but it's a big job. You know, a lot of people don't want to. You gotta get that pressed out and pressed back in the new kit. So people just go buy a bull gear, but they, you don't gotta buy a brand new bull gear. You can just get that kit and find a machine shop and have them do it and just take the bull gear, re, basically remanufacture it. I'm gonna tell you, the bull gear at a Freeland dealer is about fifteen to seventeen hundred dollars plus tax. But there's a company called ATL Diesel. Look them up on Google, ATL Diesel. They got them for $9.50. Basically, remanned, you know what I'm saying? Because bull gears don't really, like I said, the teeth for your bull gears really don't go bad. And if your teeth for your bull gear going bad, then you got some problems. But uh, that has to do with the timing, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know. Just something I'm watching. Nothing serious. It's just something I'm watching. My uncle heard my truck when I first got it. He told me that my bull gear was going bad. But I don't know. We're going to watch that. But right now, we're over here waiting to get loaded. This is a pretty decent little low right here. I ain't gonna lie, this low is paying $25.50. Going to Plant City, Florida. It's only got like 590 miles. It's good in my books. And uh, gonna get home this weekend, like I said, just go relax and uh, change these fuel, fuel filters out. <clears throat> and that's what it is, man. But um, we give it about five more minutes. I'm gonna walk over. I see there's four trucks in front of me. But the first three trucks, one, two, the first three trucks, them bitches are turned off. No lights, nothing. So I think them motherfuckers might be sleeping there. The one right here in front of me, he's got his lights on. Uh, what's up, man? Uh, but it's currently 7.09 in the morning. And they literally just put me in the door about 20 minutes ago, man. It's just fucking ridiculous. Oh, my God. Just, I'm, guys, I'm going to give you guys a head up right now. Evergreen. Right here in Waynesville, North Carolina. Man, they did it, man. They, they're claiming that they're short-staffed. They got one guy loaded. But these 
big ass paper rolls. How are you gonna tell me that you can't? You're just slacking, man. I been I checked in here at 9:30 p.m. I was here at nine, but I checked in at 9:30 p.m. My appointment was for 10, and they just got me in a door at 7 a.m. It's 7:26 now. I mean, well, it's 7:09 now, so they got me in the door about 6:45 actually. This is unacceptable. Unacceptable, man. You know, this is the this is the the part where you know they need to do something. You know, they, they they think that we're like machines or robots that we don't, you know, we're trapped in the, they don't understand that we're trapped in these trucks. And I get it; they're short-handed. If you're short-handed, then don't book so many loads. If you're short-handed, then don't book. Let me tell you, when I got here, there was four trucks in front of me. Four trucks in front of me, plus me. That's five trucks. And all five of those trucks that I walked and asked every single driver, we all had 10 o'clock appointments. Now, they have three doors. How the fuck are you booking five trucks for 10 o'clock appointment and you only have three doors and you only have one guy loading and doing billing? You know what I'm saying? These are the kind of things that they just don't care. They, you know, these are, they just don't care, man. But um, I am getting my money's worth, though, because, you know, this low was originally paying $25.50. And because I basically spent the whole night here, I'm going to be getting layover, which is automatic. I believe it's like an automatic $250. Bucks. So that puts us low at what? $25.50, $26. I'm getting $2,800 bucks for a 590 mile low, which is great. I'm not, you know, it's great. And I'm going to tell the truth, guys. The only reason that I didn't leave last night is because my plan was to get loaded. I'm over here off, right off of 40. And my plan was to get loaded 18 miles to I-26 eastbound and then make it to 95. My plan was just to shut down in Hardyville, South Carolina, that rest area that's shut down, that's closed down. I love stopping those closed down rest areas because they're always empty because they're closed. But anyway, that was my plan was to drive to there and then sleep about six or seven hours. So the, the problem is not the downtime. The problem is that, you know, don't ma- I could have I could have stayed where I was at at the TA. I could have just stayed there and slept there because i got to the ta yesterday around 6 15 in the afternoon I took a shower ate something and just head and, and you know just headed out here i could have just stayed at the ta been in bed by like nine o'clock ten o'clock and just slept all night chilling you know what i'm saying not worrying about oh, who's gonna call me what's happening just came and checked in in the morning you know but don't give me a 10 o'clock appointment if you know you're short staffed i mean they, they they shafted all of us here tonight i hope these other guys are going to be getting their layover pay as well, man. But um, I know that I'm getting my layover pay. I'm going to be at 2800 on this low, so I'm making my money. Look, this guy right here going in, he just got loaded. That's the guy that was in the front of the line. But it's crazy, man. Guys, be careful. Evergreen, Waynesville, North Carolina. You'll be here forever. Now, I did this low before, and I got here. There was nobody here. I pulled in. I was out of here like in 15 minutes. That's why I don't understand what's going on right now. But it is what it is. But, yeah, man. That's what's going on, man. At least they let me come inside the property because I was at that stop sign. Yeah, sir, earlier in the video, man, I was at that stop sign over there and I had my gun in my hand and everything because I'm like in a dark, this dark ass street. It's like a little four way stop sign. And, you know, I'm not going to have somebody roll up on me, man. I was out in the street and they told me, you know, they, they basically brought me in the yard and put me somewhere in the yard where I slept because they told me off rip it's going to be five to six hours. So. You know, I got my sleep, so I'm ready to ride. I just need them to give me this green light so I can get out of here. But uh, we're going to get down to Florida and uh, get down to Florida, see if uh, Monday I get these uh, fuel for this change. I really want to get my oil change done, but I can't find the Rotella T4. I called the Polk County Freightliner, called Orlando Freightliner. I called OTP, which is a, a, you know, a truck parts store in Orlando, Florida. I can't find Rotella T4, man. I'm gonna check Walmart to see if the local Walmart has it. Walmart usually has it, like by the job, by the gallon. See if they have it there. You know, I, I really don't want. You know, I don't have to do my oil change yet. I could still go another two weeks so I do my oil change. But I definitely gotta do my fuel filter. The fuel filters I'm definitely gonna do this weekend. And um, and I want to flush my coolant as well. This coolant is diluted. Whoever had this truck before me must have put water in them. They probably were short on coolant. Maybe busted the holes inside of the road somewhere and added water. It's definitely diluted. It's not leaking coolant. It's not overheating. But we're about to enter winter right now. And I just don't want to ride with that coolant in this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop this coolant when I do my PM. 
But uh, I want to wait till I find that Rotella. And, it, you know, if in about two weeks I can't get the Rotella, then I'll deal with whatever I find. But right now, I'm going to hold off until I get the oil that I like, which is Rotella T4, 15W40. And uh, that's what it is. So, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted, man. I'm just going to keep waiting here. The guy next to me just got loaded. He got in the door about five minutes before me. So I'm assuming that I'll be done soon. I mean, my, my, my truck's been bouncing. So let's see what happens, guys, man. Yeah, man. Now I got, and now I got to punch it to Florida. And, you know... According to this, I'm going to be there around freaking about, about 4.30 right now. So if I get out of here, I need to try to get to Florida no later than 5.30. I mean, that's going to give me about an hour of downtime, you know, because my wife and my, my girls, you know, my teenage girls and my wife, her friends are coming from there. They're, they're all going to Halloween Horror Nights, and, I, and I'm on baby duty, you know what I'm saying? I got to go watch the baby, but it is what it is. We might have to leave the baby with her sister until I get in town, man. You know, out of all the weekends, this happens this weekend. But um, this is trucking. This trucking, you know, when it happens, it happens. You know, I had the option. I had the choice to leave. I didn't have to stay here. But then, you know, my, my week gets ruined. So it was. it is what it is, man. So, yeah, guys, Evergreen, Waynesville, North Carolina. If you're coming here at nighttime, man, tell me, you just know that if you get here, there's a line of trucks. You're going to be here for hours and hours and hours. And that's what it is. I'll catch you guys when I'm rolling, man, on the next clip. Uh, we're finally rolling, man. We got out of there, man. We are out of there.